So I'm going out on the Savage River this weekend, planning on fishing wets and streamers with my two weight. That's the plan anyway, but you know how it goes. Sometimes you see fish eating on the surface and it is hard not to break out your dry flies. But going with wets and micro streamers, that's a game plan. And I did tie a couple of small streamers recently that I haven't fished yet, but I wanted at least one more to try. So I broke out Mike Vala's classic streamer fly box. It's a great book. If you don't have it, definitely check it out. And I was looking for a sleek pattern that I could tie pretty small. And I found one called the Jack Schwinn. Now, Vala didn't talk much about the history of this thing, but I did find it in Forgotten Flies, and they mentioned that it was created by Rube Cross and first mentioned in his 1936 book, Tying American Trout Lures. So we know this thing has been around for a while, and I really like this pattern. It's a sleek, lightweight bucktail. It's easy to tie, and I think it's going to be pretty effective. So we'll find out this weekend. So there it is in the vise, a Jack Schwinn, a pretty sleek, elegant looking streamer. Now to critique this one, I'd say that head's just a little bit too long. It's nice and hard and shiny, I like it, but might be just a little longer than we want. We'll see if we can do a little better on this one. I'm tying it on a size 10. This is a seven extra long, I think it's a Mustad 3665 Limerick Bend. And I'm gonna use some black thread. Let's go ahead and just catch a, that was my 70 denier. Let's go with the 140 denier here. Catch a little base down, take it back. We don't have to go all the way back just yet. And our rib, it's this gold Legarton French tinsel. See this, it's metal, it's a little bit crinkly. Of course, if you don't have this, I know a lot of you might not, just use a regular gold tinsel. I'm gonna catch it in up front. It just helps keep the body smoother. Open wraps going all the way back to where we're gonna start wrapping it. Now we're gonna catch in some body material, just an orange floss. And this is a single strand 600 denier right here, uni. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take about 12 inches, fold it over. So I've got two strands right here and just catch it in up here toward the front. Several wraps, so now that's two strands. I'll lick my fingers and I'm gonna just wrap it down and back up. And that should give us enough thickness. We don't want a real thick body, but with you know lots of flosses, as soon as they get wet, they're gonna be a little translucent. So we want at least two layers. So go ahead and take it down and back up, just trying to keep it smooth. And if that happens, which it sometimes does, you're gonna just lick your fingers and try to get them back together again. So I'm gonna end up with a little bit of an extra lump right here, but we can probably hide that with our fat gold tinsel. So it's not the end of the world there. And when you're looking at the finished fly, you probably won't even be able to tell that I screwed that up a little bit. Yeah, it's smooth enough. So now, just wrap this tinsel. I'm gonna do kind of one tight wrap in the back right there, try to keep it flat. And up to you how close you wanna put these. It just depends on how much gold you want on your finished fly. So I think we're fine right there. You can't really tell. I had a little lump there in the middle. First thing we're gonna catch in, it's the underbelly. The under part of the wing, just some bright gold, yellow bucktail. Go ahead and put it in your stacker, flip your fly over. Let's see if this stacked well enough, and it's not, not a whole lot. I've got a little bit of thread in the bottom of this stacker. So I think we got enough right here. Let's pull that hook down so you can see a little bit more of it. And I want it to be, I got a dark hair in there somewhere, but now nah, I'm gonna leave it. So I want it to be a good bit longer than the bend of the hook, and I'm just gonna kind of push it down on either side right there. And then, you know, switch hands, get my thread a clockwise spin, 
It's a 140 denier. It's pretty thick. And I'm gonna put some tight wraps going back. Now it might flare a little bit on you. See that? That's coming down a little more than I want, but we'll fix that in just a minute after we've tied the, the next, you know, the top wing in. Okay, let me flatten this back out so you can see. Now just grab some brown bucktail, put it in your stacker. Let's see if this one came out okay. I think it did. And about the same amount of hair, and we're going to tie it in the same length, or try to. Let's go about right there. Again, spin my thread clockwise. Kind of tight wrap right here, and I'm going to put some tight wraps going forward. So we got that flare, and that's going to be fine up front because we're going to trim all these, but we'll fix it in the back in just a second. So it's a little bit of a mess right now, and what we want ultimately is it to look a little bit more like that. And the best way to do that is we've got enough tight wraps holding that in, so just kind of pinch it down with your fingers. And this is where you don't really want your thread corded up, so maybe give it a counterclockwise spin to flatten it out a little bit, and just put some medium to loose wraps right there. And when you get right here, don't yank down on your your bobbin holder because it will put more tension on it. Just unspool a little bit of it with your fingers. Now we're putting a real loose wrap right there. We can go back forward and now we can do our tight wraps. When I let go of it, it should be sleek along the edge of the body there. And now all we have to do is just clean up our head, try to bury these little nubs, stubs right here. I'd probably be smart to just try to burn them off before I bury them but sometimes I'm lazy and not that smart. So I'm just gonna take my thread up here and then build a big old streamer head. You can tell this is a, a wax thread, it's leaving a little bit of wax on it. So I think we're gonna be fine right there. Let's go ahead and whip finish it. Just slide your scissors, open your scissors, slide them up there and then just saw that thread off right there. Sometimes that'll help keep you from leaving a little tag end. Let's see if we have any cleanup on this one. Yeah, maybe, but I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm just gonna put some head cement on here and call this one done. So there you go, my friends. I appreciate you watching the Jack Schwinn. Y'all take care and we'll see you next time.